Welcome back to Season 45 of the Pichu London Cup Series. Today we're here at Daytona International Speedway for the running of the Coke Zero Sugar 400. This is the regular season finale for Season 45 of the PLCS. And after tonight, we will know the 16 drivers that will still be in contention for the title. 16 drivers will be entering after this race into the playoff hunt for the championship and we'll see several drivers miss the playoffs and end their championship hopes tonight so it's going to be a big night here at daytona we will know which drivers will make the playoffs and which will not here's a live look at the points as we head into our final race of the regular season and casey Oy has a six point advantage for the regular season championship over george work and richard morphy but the battle is down below in the 30th position right now. As the lowest driver in points with a win is Zachary Fitzwater in 29th place in the point standings. And he could be knocked out by another new winner tonight if Zachary Fitzwater does not have a good finish in this race. There is that possibility that a driver higher in points could knock him out of playoff contention or maybe even knock another driver out of playoff contention here tonight. Sam at Oscon, who won last week at Watkins Glen, is 28th in points, just one spot ahead of Zachary Fitzwater. The margin between those two is just a mere five points. So every point matters as Sam at Oscon moved up to the top 30, which you need to be in order to be eligible for the playoffs. Garrett Albertson is below the top 30, believe it or not, right now 32nd in the points coming into today. And he needs a lot of help in order to get into the top 30 and to possibly knock Zachary Fitzwater out of contention for the championship. But still, it's a four-point difference between himself and Fitzwater. It's still possible that he can make a comeback in terms of points. So, possible to put Albertson in the playoffs if there is not another winner coming out of Daytona tonight. So, no, some notables that have yet to win this season. Mitch Barrier is 11th in the points. If he wins, he's in. Aiden Bigelow, Robert Smith, Hayden Stringer, and Quinn Porter all without victory. So is Maxwell Smart and Isaac Perdomo. They're all within the top 20 in points, but have not won this season. And if one of them wins tonight, they will most certainly knock out the lowest driver in points, whoever that might be, tonight after Daytona. So, very important race here to determine who will make the playoffs and who will not compete for the championship after today. Let's take a look at the starting lineup here in today's race, since Hayden Stringer will start on the pole in the number 19. The defending series champion has yet to win this season and he's looking to win here at D Daytona to get back into the track to win another championship. But looking to go back to back and this is his last chance to enter his name into the playoffs and go for back to back championships. He didn't win till very late into the season before the regular playoffs began last season and then he went on a roll and went on to win the championship. Made a huge come from behind victory on his way to the championship. This could happen again tonight as Hayden Stringer is hoping for good results here today. He's just hoping to win this race and get his team back in championship contention. Alongside him is Nilsson Herrera in the 51 entry in the 51 entry and he has also not won at this season in as well. Currently sits below, I believe he sits um in 21st in the standing so if he wins he could get into the playoffs and knock the lowest race winner one race winner in the points 
Row two, we have Matt Hunter and LG Lotaro. LG Lotaro, just a guest here today, but could play spoiler if he wins this race to all the other drivers that need to win to get in the playoffs. And Matt Hunter already has two, uh, has a win under his belt, and I believe two wins under his belt, but Matt Hunter already has a win at least, so he is already in the playoffs. And Claire Richardson and Mitch Bear are in row number three, and Mitch needs a good result here. He needs to win as he is the highest driver currently in the points without a race victory to his name. So he needs a win. It's a must win for him here tonight. And Hunter is 7th in points last time I checked, so he might be good to go in terms of being in the, in the playoffs. Claire Richardson's winless as well. She needs a win as well to get in the playoffs. Currently 35th in points actually, so she needs a lot of things to go in her favor even with the race win here tonight. So Richardson, if she wins, she needs to get a lot of points and needs to have her other drivers, competitors, have bad days in this racetrack. There's Sam and Oscon, our winner from the um, race last week at Watkins Glen. He is in, but just barely in right now, and he needs to pick up a little bit more points in order to keep that spot into the playoffs. He might be eliminated even with one win, so it depends on what happens tonight. Allison Rain also winless this season. She currently sits 33rd in the points, so again, she also needs a lot of help in order to get in the playoffs, even with a win. There's Quinn Moore. We already know he's in the playoffs with four victories. Almost made it five last week. He was runner-up at the Glen, um, believe it or not. And then Nathan Ormond will start alongside him. Ormond also winless, and he could still be in the playoffs if he wins tonight. So another one of those drivers that needs a win to get in. Robert Smith has winless, and Ronald Marvila already has one win, so Marvila is already in the playoffs. Isaiah Burnesh is winless. George Works in the playoffs with a win. James Richardson has two wins. He's a lock. And Logan Nieto is winless. He needs a win. Quinn Porter is winless as well. If he wins, he might be in likely. And Abby Sachs is also winless. If he wins, he's in. Ellen J. Pilataro is also winless. And Cassie Reynolds already has a win from the Bristol Dirt Race. So he doesn't have to worry about points right now. Draven San is winless. His teammate is winless and needs a win. And so is Rafael Mayka. Maxwell Smart is winless. He needs to get on the board, and so does Matt Gomes. And we have our guest driver this weekend. Daniel Voyles will be a guest driver today in his home track at Daytona in the number three. Zachary Fitzwater already has one win this season, but again, he could be the first driver out of the playoffs if another new winner occurs in Daytona. If he doesn't pick up the points, if he doesn't get enough points for safety, then Fitzwater might be the first to go if there's a new winner again this season. Chris Leone and Garrett Albertson. Uh, Albertson already has a win, but again, as I mentioned, Albertson's below the top 30. He needs to pick up big points here today to get in. Chris Leone is also a winless driver. Austin Stitzel's winless, and so is Isaac Perdomo. A win from either one of them could knock one of the other winners out. Richard Morphy's a winner this season, and Dylan Abrahamian is winless, but even if he does win, he's not going to be eligible for the playoffs because he did not run in every race this season. So, he's just trying to pick up a win for bragging rights. Billy Bishop has two wins this season. He's already good to go to the playoffs. Casey Hoyt already has a victory this season, so he is also good to go in the playoffs. He is hoping to wrap up the regular season title tonight, in fact, so... Only a six-point margin between himself and George Rourke, so he's still hoping he's hoping for a good day here today. Matthew Buss already has two wins this season. He's already a lock-in. Same for Connor Breton. And Alexander Rose, only already a winner back at Indianapolis. And Aiden Bigelow needs a win to get in. So a lot on a lot at stake on the line here tonight in this regular season finale at Daytona. For most of these drivers, it is a must win here at Daytona to get in the playoffs. And they might need also help from their other opponents to also get in the in for the run for the championship. Everybody's starting up well, so now it's on to the drivers. And we'll see who is going to make the playoffs and who will not. We will have 60 laps to decide it. And by the way, there will be a competition caution occurring on, on or around lap 25. 
So there will be a competition caution occurring on or around lap 25. Just as a side note. Anyway, the green flag about to wave for the regular scene finale at Daytona. We are underway here in the Coke Zero Sugar 400. Good start here for the number 19. He needed a good start to get right onto it. He's up in the front right now. Mitch Bear is building his way up to his working his way up to second. He knows a must win for him. He needs to win to get in the playoffs. Satan Stringer also is a must win for him as well. If there's another new win, if there's no new winner tonight, Zach Fitzwater might be safe unless if he has a really bad day and uh, finishes below in low in the um, field, finishes with a bad result. And the first lap of the race will go to Hayden Stringer. Stringer in front, the defending series champion. He's winless here up to this point. A must win for the 19 team to keep their title hopes alive. Their chances of going back to back alive. I mean, Stringer won late in the season. And then he, he made one of the biggest runs of the playoffs we've ever seen any driver do. And he became a big factor, and he ended up winning the championship the last season. But we'll see if history will repeat itself tonight. His teammate joins him in second place. I wonder if he's going to allow his teammates some help, or he's just going to try to take it for himself. Even though Salmon already has a win on his own from last week's race at Watkins Glen. But the 19's pulling ahead a little bit, so it seems that the 19's doing his job. He is... Pulling ahead, trying to get the win, trying to score a victory for this team that needs it. Number 9 car of Nathan Ormond goes to the bottom for second place. Seems the 19 is fine in his own without the draft. Looks like the 54 is struggling. Oh my goodness. Well, no, Aiden Bigelow is struggling. Oh man, the 18 is struggling right out of the gate. I don't know what happened to that car. I'm not sure what's going on with the 18 and why he's falling way back at the pack. Oh boy. Yeah, he's falling, falling way back at the pack there. I'm not sure what's going on with that team. They did not need a result like this. And it looks like unless, some, unless if there's some miracle happening, we're not going to see the 18 in the playoffs. Bow for second still kicking up with Robert Smith now in second place. The 19 somehow is able to pull away without the draft. That 19 car has been so, so clutch today. Trying to keep the lead. They know they need a win and they need to win to get in. And um, they need to really do something here. 21 in second. There's George Rourke in third place. If he stays where he is, he might be a regular season champion. Away, take, take, would take it away from Casey Hoyt. It would be if getting the regular season champion would be probably getting almost the maximum amount of points in the playoffs. So George Rourke, if he wins the regular season title, he'll get a bit. He'll get a lot of bonus points in terms of starting off in the playoff field. So, I'm sure Rourke's competing for those points to get to start in the playoffs. It's going to be a lot of fun with the regular seat. The playoffs about to get underway after this race here in Daytona. We will be heading to Darlington, and that's when the playoffs will kick off for the Cup Series. Look how much the um, these drivers are pulling away. I mean, they're pulling away. I mean, the 19 is pulling away so much here. <laughs> it's Daytona. You don't normally see drivers pull away like this. But um, apparently, the 19 is just on another level tonight. And he is putting on a show here in this race at Daytona. It's only the beginning here, so somebody could make moves here and later on. They're probably saving it for later. Uh, they're going on the draft, but they're not making aggressive moves right now. And I'm sure they'll turn up the aggression as the race continues. The night continues here at Daytona. Now on the second place is Logan Nieto. And the eight car is now second right now, trying to stay in the draft of the 19. 
The second place cars have had trouble staying in the draft. And yeah, things were, well, they have had trouble with the draft because they kept getting passed by their opponents. And that's what kept Stringer into the lead. Three wide battle down the middle, right down the middle with a lot of these drivers all trying to get those points, trying to advance. They know they can't advance on points anymore, but they're trying to get a bit, trying to get the chance to win this race. A lot of pack racing now down the middle. Allison Rain right in the middle of the pack, in the heart of the pack racing. See if she can find a drafting partner to help her out. Still three wide down the middle. If they go four wide, things are going to be a little bit chaotic. I'm, I'm, I'm glad they, I'm, I'm a little glad that they're not going four wide just yet. They're resisting going four wide. So, yeah, that's what the drivers are hoping that this race does not have wrecks. The big one doesn't happen here in Daytona, especially, because that's going to narrow down the field of playoff potential playoff drivers. Six cars. James Richardson is now in the second position. All trying to catch Hayden. I mean, the 19 Hayden Stringer. They're trying to catch the 19. That 19 has been super fast early on in this race. You don't normally see driver like a one driver pulling ahead early on. I think they're all trying to draft this driver, but they're always trying to getting passed for second. Like this one right here with JP Lotaro now in second place. Isaiah Bernesha might be his turn to take the second spot now, and I think that might be good news for the 19, allowing him to pull a little bit ahead. With this going caution-free, these guys are trying everything they can to, dra to draft with their opponents and draft with their teammates, trying to find somebody to draft with to get that run to get to the start-finish line as winners. It's a, an LJ, L, JP Latar already has a win at Coda in the number 10 car, and he's already assured of making the playoffs with that one win and high in points. Latar is already in. James Richardson's also in. He has two wins this season, so Latar is trying to end another victory, get more playoff points to start off. Look at this lead, almost like 25, like for the 19. This 19 has just been on another level. They've been kicking it. They've been killing it in these first couple laps. But I'm sure. But we'll see if he'll get a challenge um, in this race. I mean, he is just well, really on fire right now. Lataro's into second. He's gonna have to draft with Isaiah Bernash to try to get to that lead. Stay on the draft is very important. Oh, but the 78's not going to wait. 78 won't wait. He's going for second right now, and he's going to take it. Here comes the 42, Garrett Albertson. We mentioned earlier he's outside the top 30 in points. We'll see if he gets another win, and if, even, and if that will be enough for him to make the playoffs. He might still have two wins and not make it to the playoffs as he was not in the top 30 in points. And Albertson's doing whatever he can to get to that spot and get to the win. And try to win and try to get a, this team another victory at least. Now the draft with Draven San. And right now the 42 sticking with the draft. He might try to gain on the 19. I mean, that 19, though, has been super strong. I mean, the 19 has just pulled away already in this first couple laps. <coughs> Not even with all the drafting, they were able to catch him. Sand looks low. Here he comes. Draven Sand into second place right now. Matt Gomes drafting alongside him. This is all the drafting right now. All the drafting with these guys have been doing here in this race. As now you see the 31 car trying to pull ahead into second. And now Matt Golm's trying to get to the draft. I mean, Matt Hunter is going to the draft. Matt Hunter is now second in the number 22. Already with a win this season. Already locked in. He doesn't have to worry about 
the race today to get in. I, need, I might need some points though, but doesn't have to worry about getting a win. He already has one. Well, he's finally pulled ahead of the draft of the 19 car. Maybe it's the first challenge of the day from any of these drivers. All drafting the 19 to get past him. And then the floodgates will open. Here he comes. Here comes Matt Gomes. I think he might have finally got the draft to take the lead from Hayden Stringer. Nelson Herrera is going to make this a challenge. And Gomes is going to, and Hunter is going to take the lead away from the 19. The 19 finally gets caught. And Matt Hunter takes the lead. And now Nelson Herrera drafting alongside him in a must win situation. So they finally got past the 19. And now the 19 stuck on the high side. Man, these views are terrible. I'm sorry about the camera getting blocked by the big building there. I apologize. This is the best I could do. Here we go for the lead as Nilsen Herrera is going to the bottom. He's going to go side by side. He clears the 22. He clears him. And now Herrera is the leader. And now we're starting to see different leaders tonight. Herrera leads in the 51. A must-win situation for the 51 team. He's trying to join his teammate, Billy Bishop, in the championship race. And the race for the championship. Not the championship race itself, but the race for the championship starting at Darlington next week. Look at that, his teammates in the top five. We mentioned earlier about Billy Bishop. Um, how he's trying to he's trying to add another win here today. 15 car has two wins this season. He's looking for a third. He might try to bump out his teammate out of the playoffs. Oh wow, yeah, that would be something. Draven San in second now, and now the 51 has a bit of a gap. So he's building a gap like the 19 did early on. The 19 has to work his way back up. He's in the middle line now, so it's going to be a tough battle for him trying to get to that line. They're approaching the lap car of Aiden Bigelow. Bigelow has just struggled right off the bat. Right out of the gate, he was real slow. And it looks like he's not going to be in the playoffs now. And they're just trying to finish this race. I'm sure Bigelow was heartbroken. He won't be in the playoffs after coming so close many times. Here comes the 22 into second place. He's going to take it away from Draven Sand. They're fast approaching the lap car of Aiden Bigelow. And look at the pack of cars approaching the number 18. They're fast approaching him and trying to put him a lap down. I'm not even sure they're going to I'm not even sure if the competition caution will save Bigelow from being lapped. But if they catch him though, it's going to be trouble. There's going to be some trouble. Holy cow, would that this be fun? Here comes Herrera. Here he comes. With a lap car, here comes Gomes to the bottom. Let's see where the 18 lands. On the high side of the bottom, who's he going to help out? Who's he going to block? He's going to try to get to the high side. He might be blocking Herrera. Here comes Gomes. I mean, here comes Hunter. He's blocking the bottom. Hunter just gets him out of the way. Hunter gets him out of the way in time, and he is going to get the clean air. Here comes Lataro, LG Lataro going for the lead. Will LG take the victory and spoil any chances that these drivers have of trying to win and get in? Lataro leads the race. 62 will take it. Matthew Buss on the bottom in the second along with Zachary Fitzwater and Raphael Maka. Three cars from the same team in the top five. What are the odds of that happening in a track like this? My goodness. 
Lataro is the leader. It is LG Lataro out in front. And he is trying to win like his brother JP. His brother JP was a winner this season at Coda. Now LG is going for a win himself. They're a few laps away though from the competition caution that will occur on or around lap 25. Mitch Barrier is in second place. He knows he has to win this race. George Rourke is going for the lead as well. The 99 already has a win and is in, but he wants another one. Three wide in the middle pack here with the 12, Chris Leone, who has won already here at Daytona. He's a former Daytona 500 winner. Here comes Barrier for the lead. It's a must win for the two. He needs, to, he needs to win this race to get in. Barrier takes the lead now. He's in front. Mitch Bear is in front now ahead of George Wark and Chris Leone, his teammate. I wonder if the 12 will help him out or is he just going to betray him and go for the win himself and get himself in the playoffs. Here comes Lotaro down the bottom. He's going for the pass right here to third place. Battle to the front now, folks. It's going to get tight. Oh, boy. Now the two car still leading the race. George Work right behind him. It's a must win here for the two car. He's the highest driver in points currently without a race win. He needs a must win for him. The top 10 drivers all have at least one win in the standings, which I don't know if that's ever happened before up until this point. Here we go. Casey Hoyt's coming alive. He wants a champion. He wants to win that regular season title. Wants to be the one with the big points um, payout here in the playoff points. Here we go. Two car in front. George works second. And LJ Lataro third. He's going for second. Lataro goes to second place. Lataro takes second. Now he has his eye set on Mitch Barrier. Here comes Isaac Perdomo. Perdomo is going for third place. Another driver that needs a win to get in. Only one of these drivers might be able to do it and win and get in. And the competition caution is just about, I think, two laps away. So I wonder what strategies they'll be using. This might be a good chance to put the comp and with the competition caution coming out, it's a good chance for them to um, take their pit stops for tires and fuel. Lataro goes for the lead. LG Lataro, he is going for bragging rights. He is going for a win. His br his brother won already this season. He's going to try to win for himself. Here comes Perdomo down the bottom. He's trying to win, but he's trying to get to the lead before the competition caution flies. And Lotaro has taken the lead. 62 in front. Casey Hoyt working his way to second. Oh, someone went up in smoke? Oh, I thought somebody, oh, I think somebody went up in smoke. I don't know. Oh, never mind. No, nobody went up in smoke. I thought I saw somebody smoking. My bad. Anyway, competition caution will come out after this lap. And there are the yellow lights coming out, so the competition caution has been flown. And we will race back to the line. Latar has had a big lead anyway, but, um, you know, just in the nick of time, the competition caution will wave. And it will allow these drivers to get back into to groove, maybe take their pit stops under caution, and and make some adjustments that they think are going to be necessary for them to get to the front. So there it is. Competition yellow has flown here on lap twenty after lap twenty-five. 
and so the drivers are going to think about strategies maybe go to pits take pit stops for those tires and fuel to try to make it to the end 62 is currently the leader at this point of the race we'll see if these drivers will take their pit stops now and get their fresh fresh get new set of tires in all trying to line up exactly where they should be lining up um, at the re at the um, after the caution flew and now 62 will probably decide the best strategies for these drivers Dallin Ebrahimium is now up to second by the way so two part-timers one current part-timer one former full-timer currently one two in the race and one of them wins could potentially be a spoiler for the other drivers all looking to win to get in let's see if anybody will take we'll see if the drivers will take their pit stops under this caution looks like they will they're gonna go and take their pit stops as expected they're going for tires and fuel this could help them take it to the top very important set of pit stops here coming up of course the 18 Bigelow is gonna stay out try to get his lap back but um he might have to pit himself on the next lap too here we go drivers to pit under this caution it's gonna be possibly decide who wins this race who's gonna have the strategies to go to the front so the leaders come to pit road right now getting tires and fuel in in this competition yellow we're checking the tire wear one car oh no uh, no one's coming out right now and oh we have a battle off pit road we have a battle off pit road to see who gets out first Ebrahimium lost a couple spots there on pit road unfortunately and it was between Robert Smith and Dylan Ebrahimium going side by side who's gonna be the first one off pit road I think it was Ebrahimium it looks like it's the 54 that came out first off pit road by about a few inches yeah from this camera angle it looks like that Dylan Ebrahimium was the one that came off pit road first so I wonder if they're gonna give it to him if they're gonna give him the lead the 54 looks like from here came out came out of pit road first Wow wait a minute no, they're saying Robert Smith's the leader. Uh, I think the scoring was uh, a little weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they saw, but it looked like from our cameras, it looked like the 54 was um, the first one off pit road. That's kind of strange, but um, I don't know. I think there was a different um, scoring loop in the middle of pit road, and we didn't even know it existed. So. I don't know the uh, Robert Smith is in front and it's they're gonna have two drivers on the front row anyway so it's really 50 50 who gets the better jump there'll be a double fall restart when we get back to the green there'll be 31 laps to go and we're gonna be halfway through halfway home here at Wa at Daytona we will see who's going to be the one out in front here today and who's going to take the win and get themselves in playoff contention because this is the last race before the pl playoffs begin they're all battling for a win here today as Robert Smith is hopeful is hoping to win here tonight and get himself in the playoffs Ebrahimium in second currently Ebrahimium is not going to be in the playoffs even if he wins tonight but he's trying to play spoiler for the others that need wins to get in. Smith currently 15th in standings entering today. So the 21 is hoping for a victory to get himself in. If he does win here tonight, he's assured of being in the playoffs. And he will probably knock down the driver at lowest in points. The other next driver lowest in points with at least one win. In this case, it was Zachary Fitzwater. But he might overtake Sam and Oscon in terms of the point standings. Never know what hap can happen here at Daytona. They could be in a good draft. They could be in a bad one. In these final 31 laps to decide who wins here in, the, in Daytona. Who's going to be the winner here and get, himself, get themselves in to the playoffs. 
the restart coming up lap 30 back to green a little bit of an edge for the 54 car but can he clear the 21 into the turn 21 though fighting back on side by side now he's got a better drafting partner in Casey Hoyt gonna be side by side on the restart Ibrahimian and Robert Smith Casey Hoyt to the bottom looking to lock up that regular season title it's between Smith and Ibrahimian it looks like Smith's got the clearance he's got the clearance down the bottom Robert Smith, my final, clear the 54, and he's going to keep the lead. Ebrahimiam keep, now 21, keeps the lead. Robert Smith and Ebrahimiam stands behind him in third place. He's got passed by Casey Hoyt. Hoyt going for the lead now. Hoyt's taking the lead. The 47 in front. He is taking the race lead away. Here comes Maxwell Smart. He actually swept both Daytona events a couple seasons back. He's looking at another victory here at Daytona. Here comes the 20 in a must-win situation. Maxwell Smart in the lead again. The 20 car takes the lead. 18th in points, still winless. He could knock out another winner if he wins here tonight. Here's Richardson, Claire Richardson, also in contention to win this race, and she must win to get in, and must have the must have other drivers in front of her have terrible results today because currently sitting 35th in the points, believe it or not, the lowest among the current drivers right now running in the field. So a win would be a miracle for this 43 team who's had the probably the worst of the average season so far. A win would really turn around the fortunes of the 43. May or may not may not get in the playoffs with just that one win. May need some help as well, but um 43 is doing pretty good. Going for a win now. Claire Richardson takes the lead. Here comes the 12. Here comes Chris Leone. And Isaac Perdomo on the bottom. Gonna bow side by side once again. Decide who was going to win and get in the playoffs and get in, getting in. Leon to the bottom. Can he get the pass on the 43? There he goes. He doesn't have really a drafting partner to go to work with, but he's gonna try to make it work. 12 car to the front. Richardson hanging on. Chris Leone to the bottom lane. Almost three wide in the middle of the pack now with Alexander Rowe trying to sneak in. Forty-three and the twelve bowling side by side. In a battle for the lead now, the 12 takes the lead away. 12's in front. Chris Leone leading. Rafael Maka following in the draft. Leone hopes to hang on. Maka on the bottom, also trying to get in with a win. Here comes the two Mitch Barrier. He's had the lead a couple times today. See if he can get in and win. A lot, all these drivers all winning, trying to win and get in the playoffs. Maka, he knows he needs help too, even with a race win up to this point. Maka currently sitting at the 30th points position. If he wins, he'll definitely finish above the top 30 in the regular season points.
Maycut currently sits exactly at 30th. Mitch Barrier sits higher in the 11th place in points. A win for him, and he'll be assured to be in the playoffs. Three wide for the lead. Three wide. Barrier has the advantage on the bottom. Herrera joining him as well. Logan Nieto trying to get himself in the playoffs. Daniel Voyles joining him, his teammate. Daniel Voyles is looking to go back into looking to go back to victory and also play spoiler for these drivers. Oh, there's a crash! They're crashing now! The big one is struck! They're crashing! Big one is struck on lap 37! Taking out many competitors! We knew this was going to happen at some point, and it has happened. Logan Nieto battling with Nelson around the line. Mitch Barrier made it through as well. They'll race back to the line. A huge crash. The big one is struck here at Daytona. We'll take a look at what happened, but Nelson around will lead to the caution. We knew that the big one was going to happen at some point in this race, and it has happened. Holy cow. A lot of big competitors all out of contention, possibly. Oh, my gosh. There you go. There's the 12. Leon got into the 14 of Rafael Macon. Takes out Daniel Voiles, and these cars are spinning. They're all wrecking and crashing. It was just one little mistake, and that's all it took for these guys to wreck. My goodness. This would change up the field right now in this race. I know several drivers will still be in contention, but with some damage, it's going to be a difficult journey for them to get back into the race. couple cars are stuck and are unable to move and looks like they will have to go to pit road holy cow what a wreck that was oh my gosh here's another look of the big one with daniel voles together with the 14 of rafael meka and then the dry other driver started to spin into turn one all those cars wrecked Oh my goodness. A lot of competitors all trying to win and get themselves into the championship race. I mean championship playoffs to to the racing to the championship race. And a lot of big names involved. Holy cow, that is one heck of a crash. Oh my gosh couple cars are lapped down out of contention to win and get into the playoffs now all those are lapped down looks like they're not going to make the playoffs except for Ralmar Veal already has a win this season but 37th in points and that's not really a good result that the 77 team needed tonight but the 77 is ninth in the point standing so I think even with this bad finish he'll still be able to make the playoffs Quinn Porter is out of the race. He has his gearbox has a gearbox problem, and he will be done for the night. And so his playoff chances are over. The 45 team will not make the playoffs with Quinn Porter, so he is out of playoff contention. Quinn comes in 17th in the standings, but he will not make the playoffs today. Back to the front with Nelson Herrera, Mitch Barrier, Logan Nieto all going for the win to get in the playoffs in these final 19 laps here at Daytona. It's all the top three all have yet to win this season and could make the playoffs if it's possible, if they are able to win. Herrera 51 car. 
currently sits 21st in points. A win here, and he will be assured of making the playoffs. Barrier currently, again, in 11th highest driver in points without a race win this season. Logan Nieto sits in 27th in the points. All within the top 30 in the points, so that means if one of them wins, that driver will knock out another race winner out of the playoffs. In the regular season finale, nevertheless. Here we go. Going to be back to green. 19 laps to go. It's going to be between Nelson Herrera and Mitch Bear on the restart. Who's going to get the better jump? Here we go. To the green. Back again at Daytona. Looks like both are even currently. Both are currently even. 51 to the front. Number two as well in the front is and also trying to get the win. Now we're starting to see the drivers separating a bit. We're trying we're starting to see who's back, who's still in contention, and who is out of contention. On the lap 43 now. With 18 laps to go, who's going to be still in the fight for the playoffs? Herrera with the jump. He needed a good jump, and he got it. He's in the lead. Needs a win, but Logan Nieto to the bottom. He's going to take the lead away. And here comes the 20 of Maxwell Smart. Can Maxwell Smart take the lead away? Can the 20 make the playoffs? 20 car hoping to make the playoffs and he's 18th in points. He's good. He is assured of, well, probably a win here and he's assured of making the playoffs. The 8 car, 20, the 8 car is 27 in points in comparison, but it might not matter where they stand in points if the 8 car wins. Seventeen laps to go. Nieto's in front. Maxwell Smart behind him, looking for an opportunity to draft and get the make the pass work. LJ Lataro to the bottom now. He wants to win and play spoiler for these guys in the field to try to all get wins in this season. And here it comes, Maxwell Smart. Gonna get there. Here comes Voiles. Daniel Voiles to the lead. And now he's gonna be challenged by LG Lataro. He's gonna be challenged also by Draven Sand. Draven Sand goes for the lead. Can he get there? Can he take the lead from Daniel Foyles and LG Lataro? He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. 31 leads. He takes the lead away. Lataro's out in front. No, he's not Lataro. I'm sorry. Sand is out in front. George Rourke in second. Rourke, gets, Rourke already has a win this season. Looks to add another one. His teammate is behind him, believe it or not. So the two drivers of the same team could work together. They each have one win this season. Here comes Aiden Stringer. He led early on and then dropped off, dropped back. Now he's going for another chance at a win. Trying to sneak in to make it 3 wide in this competition. 31 hangs on to the lead for now. 14 laps remaining. Still all to play for here in this race for the playoffs. 
19 third place George Rourke second and Draven Sand hanging on the lead three wide in the middle here he comes to the bottom lane can he take the lead away can the 19 go to second place see if the 19 takes second he does He's now second behind Draven Sand going for the lead now. Goes for the lead. 19 on the draft of the 62. He's going for the lead. Nineteen takes it. The new leader is Hayden Stringer. He's back in the lead again. Can he hang on this time for long? Can he hang on till the end? Stringer, a must win for him in the 19 to defend his championship. Logan Nieto drafting alongside him in the back. Can Logan Nieto make a pass on the 19? 12 laps will remain here at, Indi at Daytona. Sam and Oscon's made his way to the top five. He's going for a top five spot. Oscon to the bottom now. We've been trying to get in the top five. He won last weekend at the Glen. He's going to try to go back to back and maybe play spoiler for these guys trying to get in by winning this race. Top five have top six now have not won a race this season. Could be seeing a new winner, and Zachary Fitzwater might be in trouble unless if he stays in the top five. Is he gaining ground and currently was last scored in eighth? Fitzwater picking up the points where he needs to, but can he hang on and hold on? Fitzwater might be in trouble if there's a new winner tonight. Here we go. 11 laps to go. Top two pulls ahead. It could be down to Stringer or Logan Nieto to win this race. Logan Nieto won at the All-Star Open. It didn't count, but still, he we know what this guy can do. He's going for the lead. We know the eight car, what they've got in trying to get in the playoffs after the misfortunate of the number three team. 3-1 earlier this season. They won with Chen Z, But couldn't make the playoffs because of the replacement of drivers. But now the 8 car trying to add a playoff driver for the team. He's trying to lead them to a playoff spot. 10 laps to go. Here comes Draven Sand to the bottom. Sand looks low. Could he make it 3 wide for the lead? Here he comes. He's going to make it three wide. Can Draven Sand clear them? A little bit of an edge for the 19. Can he hold them off on the high side? 19's got to run. Look at the 19 go. He just blocked everybody. That is amazing. That's what a defending champion does. That is what a defending champion does. Trying to keep the lead from these guys blocking all lanes when possible trying to get himself in to the playoffs and trying to get for another chance at a championship Hayden Stringer is going for another title to his name Draven Sand is winless so far 53 we're on to lap 53 coming up 8 laps to go Lot on the line tonight. The 19 takes the lead. Here comes Sand. They're all trying to get the draft. They're trying to move up to the front. Trying to move to the bottom. Where their better grip is. Here comes Sand. Here comes George Wark. Going to the bottom.
19 car is going to try to hang on. Try to take the. Trying to hang on for the win tonight. Seven laps remain. Logan Nieto to the bottom. Goes to the low side. Trying to get to the lead here. He's trying to catch the 19. 19 hanging on right now. Can he win from the pole at Daytona? Which is something that probably never would happen at a, at, in our Town 3 universe. But it could happen here tonight. Stringer hanging on. A car trying to pull ahead. Trying to get to the lead. He knows he has to win this race. Stringer also has to win. Only one of these drivers could be in the playoffs. And now entering Ronald Maravilla to the stage in third. Already a winner this season, but he's trying to play spoiler for all these guys trying to get in with a win. Six laps to go. Here comes Nieto for the lead. Getting draft from Austin Stitzel. Austin Stitzel is trying to bring Hendrick at least one driver to the playoffs. None of the four have won this season. Can Stitzel be the only one to make it to the playoffs? Here comes Maxwell Smart. Maxwell Smart to the bottom. Can he get the lead away? Billy Bishop as well. All these drivers wanting to win. Here to get in. With five laps to go. Three wide to the bottom. Here comes the 24. Here he comes. Number 24 car goes for the lead. He's got him. Takes the lead for now. Side by side again. 19 trying to hang on the high side. Here comes Smart. 20 car joining in the mix here. This final couple laps will be intense. Four laps remaining. Maxwell Smart to the bottom going for the lead. Billy Bishop joining him in the draft. Three wide now. George Wark joins in. Sam and Oscon as well. Billy Bishop trying to win again and play spoiler. Maxwell Smart trying to repeat what he did a couple seasons ago by sweeping by winning another one at Daytona. Three laps to go when they hit the stripe. It's Maxwell Smart in front. Connor Breton in the top ten now. Three to go. It's Maxwell Smart. Billy Bishop going for the win. This could be down to these two to win it. Logan Nieto, it looks like he's on the high side. He is seeing his dreams of a championship fade away with every lap. Stuck on the high side. It looks like the eight car might not be able to make it to the championship playoff field. But the 20 car is hoping to be in the championship playoff field if he hangs on over Billy Bishop. His teammate Sam and Oscon has been the other one that has been the only one from Chip from his team Joe Gibbs to be in the playoffs. Could add another one tonight with Maxwell Smart. Two laps to go. Nieto to the bottom. Does he have time though? Does he have the draft to get by the 20? Final two laps to the bottom. He's going for it. Going for the draft on George Wark. And George Wark looks to the bottom. He's trying to find a lane. He's trying to win again. Get himself back in the playoffs. He already has a win. Trying to play spoiler. Trying to keep the eight away from the playoffs. <coughs> White flag next time by. This is it, folks. The lap that will decide who makes the playoffs. One more time around. Logan Anto in the lead. Here comes Rourke. To the bottom he goes. Does he have the draft? 
The eight hangs on. Here comes Breton. Can the eight hang on for the win? He's got two more turns. Can Nieto make the playoffs? Here they go. Down the final two turns. He might be good to go to the playoffs. Logan Nieto might be in. The eight car pulling ahead off the final corner. It's going to be Logan Nieto in the playoffs with a win at Daytona. He has done it. Logan Nieto has made the playoffs. The eight car takes the checkers. Logan Nieto is your winner. He has done it in the playoffs with a win and the results are in from the race we'll add up all the points and see who makes it in and who is out you do not want to miss this folks it's going to be a lot of fun anyway let's show you the results again here are the results from this race um just in case you just to see to find out where you finished in on the screen as we're about to reveal who's in the playoffs and who will not make the playoffs this season. It's time to reveal the 16 drivers that will be competing for the PLCS Championship in Season 45. Let's start off with the drivers that had more than one win this season. First up, the driver first in the playoffs is Quentin Moore as he scored four wins in Season 45. The other few have won two events this season. Connor Breton is in the 23. He will make the playoffs. Also joining him, Billy Bishop in the 15. And then there's Matthew Buss in the 41 car. And finally, the 6 car with James Richardson. The regular season title was a battle, but one driver was able to pick up a ton of points on the regular season leader is able to steal the regular season title away. Your regular season champion for season 45 is George Rourke. The number 99 takes the regular season title in season 45 away from Casey Hoy who would come in as the regular season points leader entering Daytona, but George Rourke's finish in the top five propelled them to the top of the standings and it had a 15 point margin over second place Connor Breton who finished 15 back and Richard Morphy was third 17 back and Hoyt dropped to fourth who was 20 points back we know that Mitch Barrier will not make the playoffs that he fell short of winning a race so the top 11 all have at least one win this season we know George Work is in as he's a regular season champion and you also, we also know that Richard Morphy and Casey Hoyt are also in the playoffs. They all three of them will make the playoff field now. The regular season doesn't matter anymore. Now it's all about the playoffs. So we will see Rourke, Morphy, and Hoyt in the playoffs. Next driver with one win this season to make the playoffs is Matt Hunter. Number 22 won at Richmond earlier this year, and he has made his way on to the playoffs. He is the ninth driver of 16 to make the playoffs. The 10th driver to make the playoff field is the number 10 car, J.P. Lataro. Lataro is the 10th and the number 10 to make the playoffs this season, so Lataro will be going for the championship. The 11th driver in the playoffs is Ronald Maravilla. The 77 team won in Nashville this season, earlier this year, and they're in. And guess who's joining him as well? The 12th one in the playoffs, Alexander Rowe. His teammate will make the, his way towards the playoffs in season 45. This driver had a bad day, but it was enough for him to lose his, champ to lose his playoff spot. The next driver in the playoffs is the 12 of Chris Leone. Leone will make it to fight for the championship. And the 14th driver in the playoffs is Cassidy Reynolds. He is in on the win. The number 16 makes it in to the playoff field. 
the eight car makes the playoffs the 15th driver to make the playoffs it was coming down to the wire sam and oscon had a terrible race that put him below in the standings but was enough for him to be out of the playoffs or did zachary fitzwater get knocked out of the playoffs or did garrett alberton work his way up back to the top well here we go it was between sam and oscon Garrett Albertson and Zachary Fitzwater for the final playoff spot. One of these three did not make the top 30 in the points and was eliminated from playoff contention. The driver that went below the top 30 and will not make the playoffs is Garrett Albertson. And he will fall short of making the playoffs despite winning a race this season. He ended up 30 and 31st in the points and fell 12 short of making the 12 points short of making the top 30 in the point standing. So despite one win for his team, Garrett Albertson will not make the playoffs. It came down to the last two between Zachary Fitzwater and Samet Oscon. It was a difference of 21 points separating each other. The driver, the last driver to make the playoffs is Samet Oscon. The 11 car will be the final driver in the playoff field. In season 45, the 11 car is going to be a playoff driver, and that means the 4 will be eliminated from playoff contention. As one of the longest tenure drivers in the series, Zachary Fitzwater denied again of going for a championship. The 4 team sees their title hopes come to an end. The final standings on your screen right here. George Wark is the regular season champion, and as I mentioned, it was a 15-point margin over Connor Breton, and 17 points over Richard Morphy, and 20 points over Casey Hoyt. And as you see here, the top 11 all finished with at least one win this season. Mitch Barrier, as I mentioned, was the highest driver in points that did not win this season, finishing 12th in the standings, but not enough to get him in to the playoffs maxwell smart gained some ground after his finish but fell short ultimately finishing 14th in standings in the regular season hayden stringer was 15th and robert smith 16th and 17th was aiden bigelow and 18th nelson herrera but they didn't win it they did not win to get in the playoffs chris Lyon won and he is in the playoffs Matt Gomes, Quinn Porter, Isaac Perdomo not in the playoffs, and Logan Nieto does win with a playoff with a win. 25th in points he ended up, so he just makes it to the playoff field and just wins to get into the playoffs. So Nieto is in. And Sam and Oscon, there you see the margin between him and Zachary Fitzwater. Between two drivers, by the way, Ormond and Draven Sand. They would have, if they had won, they would have been in the playoffs as top 30 drivers. There you see, as I mentioned, it was a difference of 12 points between Zachary Fitzwater. Garrett Albertson wasn't even that close, believe it or not. But Zachary Fitzwater, though, was not able to make the playoffs despite a win and being in the top 30. So a real shame to not see him in the playoffs again. Here's how the points will line up for the start of the playoffs. Quinton Moore will be your leader in entering the start of the playoffs at Darlington. He has scored 2,023 points to start off. Connor Breen has scored 2,020 points. George Warwick will also start with 2,020 points. Billy Bishop will start with 2,016 points. Matthew Buss will start with 2,014 points. Richard Morphy starting with 2,013 points. Casey Oid begins with 12, 12, 2,012 points. And both James Richardson and Matt, Matt Hunter will each have 2,010 points. 2,007 points will go to J.P. Lotaro. And 2,006 points to Ronald Maravilla. 
And the final five drivers in the playoffs will each w receive 2,005 points to start off. With Alexander Rowe, Logan Nieto, Salmon Oscon, Chris Leone, and Cassidy Reynolds. So that's how the playoff alloc point allocation will be set. And um, I will be trying out the auto stages thing. Um, if they're going to be able to score stage points and all that. And that could make things interesting. And make the race mat make each and every race do matter. But I'm not sure if it's going to work. I'm going to try it out. But if not, I'm just going to do it as the same format as I did before. So try out the stage points and we'll and I'll add them up manually and I'll try the best I can to use the auto stages but if that doesn't work we might have to go back to the ones I've been using so just letting you just giving you a heads up uh, that we might have stage points in the um, in the series in the playoff races a sort of a test run and it might be permanent to next season it might be implemented next season so I, I'll have to test things out and uh, see if they will work and hopefully fingers crossed they work and so I can add them towards the playoff points and then we can we have ourselves a battle for the championship for sure anyway I hope you guys enjoyed our race from Daytona and we will see you next weekend on Labor Day weekend at Darlington of the Southern 500 to kick off the playoffs for season 45 until next time we will see you later Alrighty guys, before we go, I do have one more announcement to make. You know that early on the points got screwed up because of the new modifications I installed for the game. Well, I didn't think it was fair to leave out some playoff drivers because of that. So, I have decided that Zachary Fitzwater and Garrett Albertson will both make the playoffs. So these two drivers will be competing for the championship after all. And that means that the field will be expanded to 18 drivers in the playoffs just for this season only. They will each start out with 2,005 points because they only had one win each and they were below originally um, behind the other playoff field. But to make things fair, I've decided to give them each 2,005 points. So there will be 18 drivers in the first round. Instead of four being eliminated, there will be six drivers eliminated from the first round after we did our three events uh, and so that we are able to do 12 drivers as it should be in round number two and then we go down to eight in round three and then it, that will go down to four for the championship race at Atlanta so Garrett Albertson and Zachary Fitzwater are both in the playoffs after all 18 drivers will run for the championship and it, it should be a lot of fun so we will see you guys next weekend at Darlington until then, we'll see you later.